Hey guys, welcome back to WP Event Manager. And in this video, I'm going to talk about a topic that I get asked a lot by time to time. So that is how do I prevent my website getting copied or how do I prevent my website's content getting copied? So there is like multiple options that you can choose to prevent your users select your text in your website using CSS. There are some plugins as well that you can use. Even you can use JavaScript to uh, disable copy pasting on your website. So, but today's focus will be the easiest way, just including a bit of CSS code inside your WordPress website that will disable the selecting text functionalities completely on your website. So let's open our front end side and we will talk about that in a bit. So this is a demo post or demo blog post that comes pre-posted with the WordPress environment. And as you can see, we can easily select this text over here and we can even copy. So the code we need, we need to paste inside or we need to write inside the WordPress inbuilt additional CSS. So to get there, we can click on customize and in the left hand sidebar, we will see additional CSS in the bottom section. We'll go here and this is an inbuilt CSS editor for WordPress. So from here, we're gonna actually select wildcard, also known as the star or asterisk. And we're gonna parenthesize that code block. And inside here, we're gonna write a bit of CSS code that I'm gonna explain as well. So let's start with the basic tag. We're gonna choose user select and set it well to none. So that will disable selecting the text completely on the entire website. So as you can see, I cannot select this text over here anymore. So don't worry, this is like a universal property. We will go on and include browser specific properties as well to get maximum efficiency. So as we know, uh, there is like a lot of Chromium based browsers out there. And except that we have some uh, Mozilla browsers and some Microsoft browsers as well. So we're gonna write this user select none equivalent for the Chromium one and for the Mozilla ones as well. So the Chromium based browser uses something called WebKit and we can type in WebKit user select none. So that will actually make sure that the Chromium based browsers follows this user select rule as well to none. So no selecting text on those browsers as well. So for WebKit based touch browsers, we can even include an extra bit of code that should be WebKit touch callout to none. So that will disable copy pasting or long hold as we do on our smartphones that will disable it via this section of the code. And now we can write a code for KHTML. So that's pretty depreciated, but we can still write that down because you can never be too sure, right? Let's type in khtml uh, dash user select dash none. So this code over here will disable the selecting text functionalities for khtml as well. So now let's create our rule for Mozilla based browsers as well or Firefox. So we can type moz user select and value as none. And some internet explorer based browsers such as the old age or Internet Explorer, if someone still uses those, we will type in ms dot user select as none. So that will take care of the old Internet Explorer or, or the old Microsoft Edge browser that's not using the Chromium one, the recent Microsoft Edge that uses WebKit engine that will actually follow this rule over here. So this bit of text over here will disable selecting text on your entire website in a wildcard method. See. I cannot select any text anymore. You might want to ask Sarat, I don't really want to disable selecting text on the entire website. Instead, I want to do it for just the uh, block section over here. We can do that as well. How, as you can see, I have opened the code inspector over here. I can like inspect this block here. So that class is main content wrapper. If we copy this and we're going to remove the wildcard entry and type in the class selector and that will instead disable the text selection on this blog post over here and we will be still able to use selection of text on the other elements in the website so that's how you do it you can even disable the text selection entirely using wildcard or if you want to just disable the text selection for certain blocks or certain elements you can do that via class selector or id selector so that's how simple it is to disable text selection for your website 
Well, some text savvy users will go on and inspect the element, then copy the text from there. We cannot really prevent that, but there is an advanced method to it that I will talk about more in an upcoming video uh, that requires using a plugin, and that plugin has some cool features as well. So, until then, that's pretty much for it for this video. Come join me in our next video where I will explain the advanced part of this method. Being that said, I'm Sharad saying goodbye. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.